Controlling your manufacturing here in Britain, does that mean you can have a tighter control on the quality of the products you're, you're putting out? Everything is quality checked before it goes out. Our workforce is British, we manufacture in Britain, and our suppliers, where possible, we ensure they're British. So with the team you've got here, what's the range that you're manufacturing and, and putting out to the marketplace? Obviously it's pet beds. We try to supply most types of pet beds. Our st strong product is our waterproof pet bed. I actually believe that we make the best one on the market. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at some of the manufacturing that's going on here and see you know, a little bit of the skill involved and the processes involved. Okay, we're, we're seeing Tracy here and she's working on... What bed's she working on? She's working on one of her rectangle waterproof beds. Okay. Uh, she's actually putting the base on it at the moment. So Andy, we've just had a look at this bed being manufactured um, by Tracy. Um, I can tell immediately that it feels robust, it looks quality, it looks like it might last a while. But you know, it's your bed. Talk us through the key points. Yeah? Right. It's our top of the range, rectangle waterproof bed. Uh, materials, a heavy duty material which is waterproof bonded in the, uh, to the rear of the material and it got a water repellent coating on the exterior of the material. Easy to keep clean. It's filled with a bonded fibre and firmly stitched into place so it will always keep this shape. So the bonded fibre, what's the difference between that and the normal fibre that you find? Well in you can get a loose blown fibre, the problem with it is it compacts up and moves within the casing of the bed. By using a bonded fibre it will always stay in place and the bed will keep its shape. We've all seen beds where all the sides have gone floppy and yep that it will not happen with this bed. They're not going to be coming back and saying, oh, that bed only lasted two months. Yeah. Uh, I'll never buy another one. This bed is durable, hard wearing, should last a reasonably good length of time, and their customers should be happy. Okay. We're looking at Clive here now, and he's, he's starting to stuff the, the, what would you call that, the outside, he, the outer? He's stuffing the outside ring uh, with uh, bonded fibre, which has been pre-cut to shape. And this is an oval bed, is it? It's an oval. It's uh, what I'll call a Labrador size, uh, what we call a large oval waterproof bed. And is this, would I be right in saying this is the most popular in your range, yeah? It is our best selling bed, funny enough, green Labrador size. Oval waterproof? Oval waterproof, yeah. Okay, but it's not all about waterproof and... and uh... No, we do other fabrics as well, uh, Sherpa fleece. Uh, fabric as well and we do a uh, imitation suede what they call false suede yep uh which funny enough that fabric is very hard wearing as well so the theme that comes through from everything you've, you've talked to us about is quality and robustness yeah? yes so people are going to get a bed that i think as we said earlier isn't going to fall to bits hopefully will last a bit of attention from a dog but a determined dog will always you know find yep. out what's inside if it wants to That's i know that correct. from experience um but quality and British made is, is kind of the watchword. It of is the selling point. It is okay. the only way a small family firm like ours can survive. You've got to make a product that customers will come back and buy time and time again. I've had one a few years. I liked it. It's lasted. I will make sure I go and buy another one of the same make. It's survival. Andy, I think that's a great place to end this. We hope you more than survive, we hope you thrive. Thanks okay. for your time.